Correct. I sent that tweet out and it was real. I have not watched one college basketball game. I'm betting on all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a you wild are. move. <laughs> but it is nice to learn about these teams <laughs> everybody's been talking about. And Michigan State, that moment that I got mad about. Yep. Because he chews out a kid during a TV timeout. That kid goes on to miss a dunk just a couple moments later because mm-hmm. his confidence is rattled. Mm-hmm. And then we missed the second half over by two fucking points yes. because oh, the kid pissed. missed the dunk is why I was mad at Izzo. Mm-hmm. But if we go to that Tom Izzo situation, that was a perfect sociological situation for the world that we live in right now. It was a time for everybody to show whether or not they're old school or not. It was a grandstanding situation for everybody like, back in my day, this is what we did. This isn't this. Everybody and their mom had to prove whether they're old school or if they're new school. Everybody had an opinion on it. Everybody, It was under a microscope. It was huge. I will say that I have come from a tree of hard coaching, very hard coaching that's demanded a lot out of players. I believe, just like Scott Van Pelt, that there's other ways to do it. I am personally only pissed off because that kid missed the dunk. (laughs) (laughs) And the under hit, I don't mind how Tom Izzo handles his business. I just hated how it became something on the internet where everybody had to prove how old school they were or everybody had to prove how they wanted to evolve and change the way things are. That's the only thing it became. The situation didn't even matter anymore. The only thing that mattered was whether or not you came from a generation of hard coaching or if you're from the new school. It just it was a dumb grandstanding situation and quite a case study to watch it and was. learn about a lot of humans. Cuz that was classic old school coach yep. move. Yep. That's exactly. So two Do- new generation kid. Yep. So Dockich obviously goes out and says like oh, this is what coaching. Colin Cowherd goes on his grandstand. Scott Van P- everybody who's old school or respects the old school thing felt the need to come out and talk about it. And then which caused on the other side for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. reaction. Exactly. So then there's the new school people that all felt like they had to come out and talk about it. And for me it just all became a big peacock in operation. <laughs> And I don't give a goddamn. They won the game. Let's keep it moving. He didn't hit the kid. They won the game. Yep. Let's move forward. Nobody's right. Nobody's wrong. Let's just go for it. And now, now everybody thinks you have to be right or have to be wrong. Don't you feel like saying. everything has turned into that now? Everything. Everything, everything. everything you have to be right. Did you hear how wrong. Izzo responded to it in his press conference? Oh, yeah. I loved it. Loved it. Next game, by the way. We're minus six in rebounding at halftime. Ended up, I think you were plus 15 in the second half in rebounding. How did you make that happen? How did they get... How did uh, how, which players allowed that to happen for you? I imagine some challenging went on. No, no, no. We went in the halftime. We had a love fest. <laughs> <laughs> we hugged each other and said, "Listen, it's okay, guys. That we we got out rebounded by a smaller team. Uh, you know, it's okay. But if we could find a way to do a little better job, it would." probably help us win <laughs> <laughs> by the way incredible stuff by Izzo I see why Michigan State loves him absolutely but for me a lot of people who never played a team sport were coming out talking about that which happens on everything a lot of people that have nothing to do with a lot of issues come out with their opinions because they've been taught by somebody else who has an idea that that's how they're supposed to feel and everything's just peacocking these days everything's bullshit Everything's bullshit. Mm-hmm. None of it matters. Even though I nothing fucking school, matters right? except <laughs> for the four point play by Zion. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, first play of their next game after the kid got chewed out. Very first possession of the game, he dunks the basketball. Oh, uh, good yeah. for him. Yeah, so it's, it's Two good. years from now, if he doesn't make it in the league, he'll write a book about Tom Izzo fucking <laughs> him. And then we'll come back to this whole thing. But what's up? I, so, even though I'm very old school, I'm a big believer. In, Chew them out or me out as much as you want. Scream, spit, whatever. Tell me everything that you got in your arsenal. But then at the end, just give me a little pat on the butt and say, now yeah. get your oh, fucking exactly. head right. Yeah, yeah. It's the old sandwich. Like, yeah. It's like, the old sandwich. Kind of lean in, then the meat there, just go ahead and bury them, and then bring in another a little up, a little uppity thing. It's a, it's a little exactly. sandwich of positivity right. with the burial in the middle. Right. Just so they can leave a little bit with... Oh, he's a nice guy. That's right. We're still family. Oh, we're on the same team. Yeah, it didn't seem as if that was the case. Oh, no, no, not at all. But I've been yelled at on a very regular basis. Yeah, your coach was uh, pretty much the epitome of old school. On a very regular basis, I've watched people get yelled at, and players react differently to things. I still think that um, like parenting and timeouts don't work. 
I don't, I don't I, like in my Agreed. head, I, I not, maybe not with everybody. Right. Mm. I, I don't think timeouts are the answer to a lot of things. I think it is actually a problem causer more so than a problem solver. Mm -hmm. But that's going to be an interesting thing. That's why I don't have kids, and that's why I won't coach it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Hey, yeah, you did great. Yeah, you fucked the entire team. <laughs> you did great. That's basically what Tom Izzo was saying, but in a more passionate manner. For sure. But it became a big peacock fest, and I just can't take it.